Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay, so grab a brush, grab some paints, grab some models, and paint along with me. Let's rid a world of unpainted models. Look at this, two weeks in a row, Painting with Jay. Is it officially back? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But, as always, a huge shout out to Mr. Cody Rue. And Adam, you missed a spot. I have been informed that Adam missed so many spots while I was away. I was the only one keeping him accountable and informing him of his mistakes. So, it's my fault ultimately. All those spots were missed. Yes. What? So, let's get started on this week's painting. I'm working on a Scout Sentinel uh, for my or Heavy Armor and Sentinel, uh, Sentinel for my Gene Seal Cult Army. So we're going to keep working on that, get that done today, and uh, finish it up. Then I have a few more vehicles left for Gene Sealer Cult, and then I'm going to start my next painting project. Let's get started. Yes. All right, so welcome back. I have been working on this Scout Sentinel um, a little bit. As you can see, I did the airbrush pattern on the, the main part. I've already done the silvers and a shade, so I'm going to today I'm going to take some... Uh, Iron breaker, and do a quick dry brush over all of the. Uh, there we go, iron breaker. Do a quick dry brush, get that done, and then uh, probably paint the copper areas, or the, yeah, the brass areas, and the guns as well. Cool. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm just doing a quick dry brush just to. Bring up the details, make it a pop a little more. You know. It's a cool little model. It's a little model. It's actually quite not that. It surprising when I built it how small it was. I don't really use these. You know, never really faced a lot of them in, in games. I got one. I don't remember how I got it. This one, but uh, it's all good. I enjoy put it together and. Uh, well, the problem is I think I ran out of glue. <laughs> so my next three, I have three more models left for Gene Steeler Cult. Um, I have two of the fast vehicles, and um, I'm probably going to build a rock grinder, the heavy support vehicle. So, yeah, heavy support vehicle. Probably do one of those. And so I yeah, have three more vehicles. Uh, it's going to be a lot of just again dry brush, uh, dry brush, airbrushing first. Get that all done in my stone colors. And then uh, finish up those. And then paint all the details as well. So hopefully by next painting with Jay, it's going to be a lot to do. I have to assemble them, do all the airbrushing beforehand. So maybe, we'll, I don't know, we'll see. I'll try to get another Painting with Jay in next week. I will definitely try. But uh, it might be a challenge to get those ones done. I'll probably be fil filming a couple videos in the near future. As you guys know, um, I'm getting a fake call from the CRA as we speak. It'll be kind of fun to see how many times Jay gets a call from the CRA today. This is the 11th, I think. 10th or 11th. Apparently, Jay owes the CRA. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm just going to mute my phone. But um, the scammers have really come out of the woodwork lately for uh, scam calls. And I don't fall for them. And that was one of them. You know, where they pretend that you owe the CRA money, but you have to pay them via iTunes gift cards. That's not really realistic. You know? Not real realistic at all. No. Look at that. Cool. That was an easy step. This is not a very big model. But uh, cool. Now that that's done, let's get the brass areas done. Get the brass um, painted, shaded, deflated. Okay. And um, let's get my, my. Nope, that's not it. Brass crooked. I finished up those Lehman Russes, so they're all done and good to go. That's cool. And then, as I said, I'm in the home stretch 
few more models after this for the, the Gene Steer Cult Army. So that's going to be cool. And then my Gene Steer Cult Army is painted. And I just gotta field it someday. Yeah. Gene Steer Cult is gonna be a tough army to play in this edition. Whatever. At least they're painted, and I can field them on the tabletop whenever I want. And have fun. That's what matters, right? And the great thing about I do play a lot of different armies, and so I can you know play more competitive armies, less competitive armies. I don't have I don't play the most competitive builds because for most armies I don't have the uh, the spam power to you know to bring the win at all cost army. The only army right now, like, yeah, I don't think so. My Dark Angels are pretty much an all-comer list. Uh, my Necrons, oh, my Necrons are pretty uh, good. Hmm. It's just because what I had. I don't have the Silent King. I don't have, which is a beautiful model as well. Um, I don't have any... I uh, have the one Catan Shard, the Nightbringer, who I think is the best Catan Shard overall. But... Uh, I don't know. The nicest looking is the Void Dragon, but... Uh, yeah, that... He's been hard to get. As you guys know, and girls know, uh, it's been tough. GW has been trying very hard, but they've had to shut down you know, their production and their warehouses. Let me just make sure that this is all zoomed in correctly, because it looks like it, the focus is behind the model. There we go. Um, it's been tough. You know, they haven't been able to keep the models in stock. It's created a little bit of a secondary market, I found, for the last... a bit a large of a secondary market for the last year. You know, people are mass buying the popular models and then trying to sell them for profit. Scalpers. Gotta love them. Next codex is, of course, um, Drukari, which are a pretty powerful army to begin with. You know, um, I don't actually, I haven't faced Drukari a lot. It's one of the armies I faced the least in my 40k playing. Nobody in my, I think there's one competitive player in my meta. Doesn't didn't field them very often, and then like, like Scarry from Scarred Cost plays Drukari. Um, he's quite competitive with them. I played him once, but uh, that was a it was a fun game for me. But oh my goodness, it was not a good game by any means. So we we faced each other, but I brought a pretty like fun Walker list. I kind of forgot that he plays pretty competitive Drukari lists, and he, he pretty much tabled me. It was awesome. It's the only time I've ever got a, uh, an opponent get domination against me. But uh, it was good. Good time. He's a good guy. Yeah. Have you messages from last week. People are happy that Painting with Jay's back. So, see if I can keep it going. You know, I'd really, really like to finish up my Gene Steer Cold Army um, in the near future. And I really should have gotten back to painting earlier. I regret that it took me so long to get back into the swing of things because spring is around the corner. It's starting to get into the pluses here in Canada. And consistently in the pluses day to day, 
the highs are all in the pluses this week and the lows are in the minuses. But So that means that um, I'll be probably going outside more in the near future. But I'm still going to work hard and see if I can get these guys done in the next, you know. If I work on the, the three vehicles over the next three to four weeks, I'll have my army done. Cool. Maybe I should paint a little bra brass on the, the legs as well. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, just to break up the monotony of the legs. I do uh, I like this little bottle. He's fun. I should get him a few more of them. I think there's still a few at my local gaming store that someone traded in a long time ago. Not very well painted ones. So maybe I'll pick those up. I haven't been to my local gaming store in a while. I've been intentionally, you know, I've been just not buying models really often. Um, because I have so many models to paint, right? And I don't want, I want to rid my world of unpainted models, as we discussed, you know, as I keep saying, let's rid our world of unpainted models. So the key is to stop buying models. So I've not bought many models in the last little while. I've bought one or two over the last year, probably. But that's okay, because now I can um, really focus, you know, and get these guys done. And then after this, I'm, well, I'm, I have a bunch of Space Marines, which I've decided, as I said, are going to pretty much be colored uh, Dark Angels, which will be Dark Angels, because I have so many Primaris Imperial Fists already that it'd be fun to paint up some Imperial, uh, sorry, some Dark Angel Plus, also, my, my recipe for my Blood Angels has been hit hard. Not my Blood Angels, uh, Imperial Fists, sorry. Not even close in wording, since they removed the glaze that I loved so much. There we go. So. Any more symbols? I think that's it for now. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll paint that a little bit brass as well. Don't really know what it is. Sends a bit of color. You know, nobody will argue this model isn't painted. Of course, by the end it'll it'll all be good. And uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I'm excited for the spring. Winter is my least favorite season. No more snow blowing would be very nice. You know. I'm wondering what this year is going to be like. You know, because it, it's been a year. It's basically been a year. Um, from last Saturday, it was one year ago in Canada that it hit the fan. And things started closing down, and things are still pretty much closed, right? In I guess things are still open here, but it's it's very small rules, you know. I haven't sat in a restaurant since, ooh, February of last year. I have not sat in a restaurant, not even a patio. No. There we go. Cool. Just a little bit of brass. That's it. It's going to be a pretty simple color scheme. I'm going to have a little black. The wiring will be red and blue. That's all you need to do. Right? It's a pretty simple model. Don't go too crazy with it. It'll look good for the tabletop. You know, my Gene Steer Cult Army was my army that I did entirely using... Um, pretty much entirely using uh, the contrast paints. So, it's okay. These will aside. I've also been cleaning up my workshop a bit, so it's been nice to have a nice clean workshop. My area. 
So now I'm taking some uh, gray liner. You see it's really going to tie in with this with the uh, colors of the Lehman Russ from last week. And then I think, yeah, so I had a traveling jeans store called It's a Cool Army, which is not easy in this edition. You don't really want to sit on objectives, you know. It's not an army where you want to be babysitting objectives. And it's also um, an army that really depends on multiple detachments, typically. You look at the, the stronger lists, and they all have multiple detachments. And so the biggest problem with Gene Steel Cult is, of course, you, you get penalized for taking multiple detachments, right? So I can do with the, the gray liner, a little extras. I'll do a quick light dry brushing dusting of the end of the chimneys, the exhausts. Yeah, I'm kind of curious, what will this uh, year be like? All right, is it going to be like last year? Is it going to be better? The vaccinations continue to be rolled out where I am. I hope they are continuing to be rolled out where you guys all are. What else was I wanting? To, something I wanted to talk about last week. I just forgot what I wanted to talk about. I just kind of wing it with my talks. You know, I just kind of turn on the camera and start talking and see what happens. And it's still not dry. Hmm. I pulled an atom. I missed a spot. But uh, let me just clean that up a little bit. How many minutes are we in? 17. Okay. I really miss Adepticon. I think I said that last week. But I really miss Adepticon. For the people, Adepticon would have been this week, this week, next week, next week. It would have been really fun to see everyone drive down to Chicago as I normally do, hang out with people, catch up, eat good food. Life's good. But, uh, nope. Maybe next year. Hopefully. Unfortunately, uh, I was talking last week about the outbreak near my house, and uh, a student who wasn't even at the party, there was a party at a residence, a student residence near my house, and uh, somebody came from Toronto who had one of the COVID variants, one of the nasty ones, they're even more nasty than the normal ones. And it spread like wildfire. 
because partying people just don't want to wear masks probably. And so it spread like wildfire, and it's we're now one of the worst cases of the variants in Canada, where I live, and it's around the block from where I live. And uh, unfortunately, someone died earlier this week, or at least on the weekend. Somebody died as a result of this party. A young person, thirty-year-old uh, student, I believe. And the crazy part was the student didn't even go to the party. The student's roommate went to the party. Apparently, the student was a germaphobe and didn't want to get sick, but didn't want to go, didn't want to go to the party. And the student's roommate went to the party, got sick, gave it to him, and he ended up dying. Very tragic, very it's unfortunate stuff. Yeah, very. That's really. That just sucks. What else? Uh, yeah, it's just been hard. You know? Life has been very interesting over the last year. I'm a frontline employee from a frontline worker. So I, I've i worked every day. From work, I go to work. I see people all day. We have guards between us and stuff. And I wear masks all the time, and so, yeah, you know, like, you, you keep, you just keep going, you keep going, it's, it's, been, it's been fun, I know a lot of you guys are, and girls are, are dealing with the same stuff, and you just keep going, just keep going to work, put on the, bl I just like to try to just put on the blinders and keep going, you know, what a fascinating time it is. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some red. A fist on red. So we're going to paint some wiring. Uh, but yeah, it's been fascinating, interesting times. And I'm hoping that things can start returning to quasi-normal in the eventual future. Peterborough is known for its music fest. It has a music festival every year. Free music. Some good Canadian bands, usually. It's free, so you can't really complain. You know. Of course, this year has been cancelled again. They might do like a virtual series. They do, I know some places have been doing virtual series. But basically, all the places have, to, have had to make the call whether or not things are getting cancelled pretty soon. I'm still surprised the Olympics is happening. I think it... Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. I'm pretty sure the Olympics is happening this year. It was, of course, postponed from last year. But I wouldn't blame any athletes for not wanting to go. You know? Athletes are, are all kept pretty close together in these the Olympic villages. And imagine if an outbreak happened there. That'd be brutal. Brutal. I like this little tank, thing, this sentinel. Yeah. This thing's interesting. It seems I've been away for so long, and I don't remember what I wanted to talk about. Oh well. Can't wait to play in a tournament. <laughs> there, there have been no tournaments lately. For, obviously, reasons. And so, maybe this summer I'll be able to play in a tournament. That'd be fun.
take one of my armies out of the out of the out of my shelves and have a good time. That'd be really good. There we go. But the cases were going down for a while. And then we opened up again. And predictably, they've gone up 50% since uh, the three weeks, the four weeks that we've been open again. The average number of counts. So, we'll see what happens there. Reds are done. Let's do some blues. Just to contrast red and blue. Makes sense. Get the blue wires done. And then we'll probably call it because it's been 25 minutes. Maybe I'll come back after and finish up the model. Or I could actually start the basing, maybe. That would be cool. I'll have to go find. Do I have some here? I do. Astro Granite Debris. I used that on all my models. It was a lot of fun. the uh, Gene Steer Cult Army. Yeah, and we'll start basing. And that way, later, it'll just be a quick highlight of the brass areas. And then, uh, I'm good. Hmm. That'd be nice. And then another model done. Well, I do it also, I'll do a quick uh, dry brush over the, uh, the Astro Granite Earth as well, just to make the details really pop. You know, add some texture, some color. Yeah. The next room I'm going to paint, I haven't decided yet. Uh, because of the two box sets, I pretty much have... Look at that! Another CRA scam call. They must be really mad at Jay. One day I should answer it on the... <laughs> while doing my painting with Jay is and see the, the fake CRA calls. It's getting the point, so basically the Canadian government stepped in or basically enforced the cell phone providers to start blocking these scam calls. And it worked for a little bit, but then all they did was they changed their emulator styles to mimic um, your local code, your local area code. So they, what they do is, I'm just gonna grab a, my little tool so I can use the uh, Astro Grand Earth. So what they do is they mimic your first, they, they, they copy your first six digits of your phone number, and then they fake the other four. The last four are randomly um, are, you know, they just, they turn it on. Where did my little tool go? Okay, I'll just have to use a paper, I guess. But I, I had a little tool that I was using for the Astro Granite Earth. Let me just grab a beat up brush. Let's use it. But, so it's, it's them, and it's obviously it's always them. But the one thing that annoys me about the situation, besides getting annoyed by the, CRA, the fake CRA scammers, and the fact that there's billions of people around the world dedicated to try to scam me out of my money. Um, I think my tool might have fallen. You know, whatever. I'll use this. So let's use the Astro Grand Earth. So what really bugs me is they're probably using my phone number, right? Because so anybody else who has the first six digits of my phone number um, they are likely emulating my number to call them, right? Because the last four digits are randomly assigned by these emulator programs. Um, they are probably, it's happened to a friend of mine where he actually got a call from an angry person, a young girl, calling and was like, hey, stop crank calling me. 
it was because his number and her number were very similar. And so they were, of course, um, whenever they were fake calling her, they were mimicking his phone number. Astro Granite Earth. I, like, I missed my tool. It was a lot easier with uh, my little uh, sculpting tool. I might just stop for a second and go find it. Cause... Hmm. Let's see if I can grab that, because it was so much more fun with that tool. If not, I'll tough it out. Where's my tool? The name of this video. I don't think I can find it. St. Patty's Day happened on uh, on Wednesday. Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> I was like, oh, it happened on Wednesday. Whenever that was. It was yesterday. Nope. I'll tough it out. But uh, let me just shake this up so I can get some more access. There we go. Um, I didn't do anything, of course, for it because there's not much to do here in Peterborough. I'm not a big uh, partier anyway, but uh, I know this the social aspect, and it's also a really good way of supporting the local, like the local restaurants and bars really thrive off this, um, off the, off St. Patrick's Day, right? And so it's unfortunate because they, as you can see, they're just moving around. Um, they could not have their their day and take advantage of this, you know. It's like um, the lockdown. Uh, we had a stay-at-home order imposed in Ontario, and it happened on um, Christmas Eve, right? So people could finish up their Christmas shopping, basically, and then it ended. Uh, so all the stores could not have their Boxing Day, any store that had, like, only in, uh, you know, brick and mortar could not do Boxing Day. Because it was, at that point, it was a stay-at-home order. In the lockdown. So it was, uh, there's, I know, a lot of businesses have really suffered. And it's really unfortunate. But it's like, it's one of those catches that, I'm glad I'm not in politics, obviously. Because you are weighing people's livelihoods over people's lives. Right? Like, it's tough. It's a real tough situation. It is. Um, and I'm, yeah, it's delicate. Because obviously, with businesses open, people mingle, and then disease spreads, and then People get sick and die, and it's like, oh my goodness. So, yeah, but I'm, I'm not part of that. I'm not going to start that debate. So I'm running for, uh, no, okay, I was going to say I'm running for politics. But I don't think anyone would vote for me. Vote for Jay. Sponsored by Gorilla Gloop. Yeah. But uh, it's tough. Is a tough situation. And it's tough around the world, you know? Every country. It's been tough. Per capita, Canada actually is one of the lowest. Oh, per capita, Canada actually is one of the lowest uh, rates of vaccination among all the uh, considered first world countries. We're slowly catching up. It's a tough situation because we don't produce the, the vaccine. We will starting like next year or two years from now or something like that. AstraZeneca is coming to Canada. It's going to be made in Alberta. But uh, we're really relying on shipments. And it's, it's tough when the other countries are producing their own vaccines or have better contracts. You know, we got to wait. I'm 
I live in Peterborough, well, again, there was this crazy outbreak recently, but we've had it pretty lightly here overall compared to Toronto and the, the GTA and, uh, and even the neighboring cities. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is good. By the time the I'll give us a few hours, but by the time I'm ready to do the the driver or the, the detail the brass, I will have the basing basically done and then I just gotta paint a little, you know, the black loop around the base. And this dude is done. Pretty much. Not bad. As I said, it's not a, the most complex paint job. But it's a sentinel. You know. Most people if I put it on the tabletop will be like, oh there's there's a sentinel. Jay's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> As I said, I don't have a, I don't have enough vehicles of any type to be in the win at all cost group. For Gene Zero Call, I guess the fast vehicles are pretty competitive. I have two, I think. Two? I mean, yeah, that'll be the three, two or three vehicles I'm building are. What are those? Maybe a third one would be nice. I'm using a lot on this model, but that's okay. I don't have really much more bases. paint. I think one more. It's the two other vehicles. And I'm okay with I'm okay with using up a paint that I don't need well not probably use again for a while. Yeah. I like to try to paint each army with a slightly different uh, some of them are similar and are the same, but I like to try to do as many different um, basing options as possible. This is fun actually, it's expensive to use only Astro Granite Earth and, and dry brush, but it was Pretty simple process, you know, just blop it on, spread it out, wait for it to dry, dry brush. It was fun to do on a lot of mo smaller models because it was easy, you know, a couple steps, done. A couple steps, done. You know? Yeah. My dog's whining upstairs because he's not allowed in a room. In one particular room. It's gonna take a little of this. What I usually do is let it settle a little bit. You can take a little bit off. Just pull it. Push it into the crevices. I'm okay with creating a little bit of a like a smush because that would make sense. Just walk down by the sentinel. Cool. After this, it'll be done. We're about 40 minutes into the video, so it's not bad. I think it's going to look good. Oh, 
uh, dry for a while. The, uh, the shade is almost done. But I'll let this set and uh, done. Look at that. So the Sentinel is basically done. It's not a crazy complex paint job, but definitely has more than three colors. It's like five color, six color minimum, and it has a base, and it'll dry, and it'll have it all cleaned up and done. But there we go. Another Gene Sear cult model finished. Next week, it's time to get to the final three of the Gene Sear cult models, get them done over the next few weeks, and then start next painting project. As I said, either. Uh, It'll either be Necrons or... I'm probably thinking Necrons next. Could be Space Marines. Could be Space Marines. But I'm thinking Necrons next. Just build all my Necrons. Get them all built. Mass paint them. And then uh, enjoy. You know? Cool. Look at that. And let's finish here. So that concludes another Painting with Jay. I really hope you uh, got some stuff done. Paint it along with me and you're reading a world of unpainted models and maybe just you're staying healthy and safe out there in internet land. That's the important part. It's really put things in perspective. We've got to stay healthy and stay safe. So that's the end of my Sentinel painting. I'll, I'll do a quick dry brush out and finish that off, put pictures on my, my Facebook page. But uh, it's pretty much good to go. And that's that's awesome. So I will, uh, I'm gonna keep rolling, keep painting. Um, now the main thing is I gotta assemble three vehicles before my next painting with Jay. So that'll be my next challenge. It might be a week or two before my next video because I got to get them all assembled and good. I think I might have just ran out of glue, but it's okay. I'll go buy some more. Good to go. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to finish up the Gene Steer Cult. Probably start painting some Necrons. I got like 30, 20 Warriors, you know, the two box sets. Um, the Kill Team one and the um, Indominus one. So that's about 20, you know, a bunch of HQs, Warriors. Yeah. Cool. So, stay tuned for more Painting with Jays. As always, this video is brought to you by my, my Patreon subscribers. Link in the description below if you want to help support my campaign. It's because of them that I can keep making these videos. Stay tuned for more Painting with Jays. Until next time, this is Jay saying happy painting with me.